and next week in social studies, we're going to learn some fun facts about some presidents of the United States. So let's first learn about President Day. So we're going to learn all about President Day. President Day is celebrated on the third Monday of February every year. So look at our calendar. February 1st is the first February. February 8th is the second February. February 17th is the third February. So that is why, in Monday, that is why we celebrate President's Day every February, the third Monday. Now, guess what? Abraham Lincoln's birthday is on February 12th. So last Friday, when we had our Valentine's Day party, that was Abraham Lincoln's birthday. And George Washington's birthday is on February 22nd. So look at the calendar. When is February 22nd? Right? Um, if you go down on President's Day, that's what it is. Yeah, it's the Monday after President's Day. So President's Day is a day that we can celebrate their birthdays. And however, many people celebrate not only Abraham Lincoln and George Washington's birthday, but they celebrate all the presidents we've had in the past. Okay? Why? Did you know that, um, that George Washington's birthday wasn't a holiday until 1872? Then they needed a holiday. Good fact. Now, let's learn a little bit about George Washington. So, he was the first president of the United States. And I have these cool cards. And every day, we're going to learn some fun facts about the president. He's our very first president. He was the commander in the chief of the <coughs> army. He was in charge of the army. And he was the one who wrote the con our constitution. And he was the only president that did not live in the White House. Because there was no White House yet. So the White House is where the president of the United States lived. But he was the only president that did not live there. There is a monument in Washington, D.C. called the um, Washington Memorial that you can go visit. And also, if you ever go to Mount Rushmore, which I know Ingrid wants to go there, to Mount Rushmore, he is one of the faces that is carved in at Mount Rushmore. And guess what? Here's another fun fact. His face is on the $1 bill and the quarter. So there's a lot of cool facts about him. So I'm going to put him up here. And we're going to do a couple presidents today, but we're not going to finish them all. Wyatt. And George Washington's teeth or um, dentures was hippopotamus. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's a fun fact. His teeth were made from elephant and walrus tusks. And they were not wood. So a lot of times, people back then, they had to have fake teeth because there was no dentist. And they would lose their teeth because they wouldn't be able to take care of them. They couldn't br really brush them. There was no dentist, so they would lose their teeth. So guess what they got? Dentures. Dentures. Fake teeth. And his fake teeth, you're right, were made out of walrus tusks, elephant tusks, wood. They're not wood. And what was the other one you used? Hippo? Yeah, I guess I might have heard of Pipple, but I believe you're right. Didn't I tell you that? Okay, Lewis? No. And the White House is on the corner. It is on the back. Yeah. It can, yeah. Definitely. It can be. Okay, Addy. Where did be George there. Washington go if he was the president? So where did he live? Good question. He lived at his home. Um, And if you ever go there, it's called Mount Vernon. It's by Washington, D.C., but that's where he lived. And you can go there, and you can tour it. Um, nobody lives there anymore. It's just where his home is. And he's also buried at Mount Vernon. So he's kind of in the Mount Vernon. His house is kind of like on a river. And so he's buried back there, too. So you can go visit it. It's like a museum. Mm -hmm. This is okay. Okay. The two, oh. the two is upside down. Yeah, they wrote it kind of funny. Yeah. Okay, oh, hey, last thing, Kaden. Um, so, um, when he passed away, he got buried there? Yep, they buried him there, by his home. All right, why? why? One, one more fact. If he's buried there, then it must be haunted. Nah. 
right, okay, I do believe that. Now, we're going to skip. We're not going to go to the second president because we're going to talk about Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president. So he is number 16. He was a president during the Civil War, and he was credited to getting rid of slavery. He was the president that said, we should not have slaves. Slaves are not okay. And then he was killed in 1865. He was at like a movie theater, not like a movie theater we go to, but like a play. And he was up in the theater, it's called Ford's Theater, and he was up there watching, like in the balcony, yeah. and somebody shot and killed him. I thought he was and you can also go there, if you want to see Ford's Theater, where he was shot and killed, you can also go there. Um, he also has one? the Lincoln Memorial, which looks like this. Mm -hmm. Do you guys notice this it's building on, the on something? What do you think, John? It's on the penny. So if you ever look at the penny. It's very long, and you can barely see you the can, outline. You can barely see it, and guess what? We haven't talked about money yet in math, but if you take a little magnifying glass and look at the back of the penny, guess what you can see? Yeah, A. It's his body. It's a statue of, of um, Abraham Lincoln in his memorial. So when we talk about money, you guys remind me, we need to get out the magnifying glasses and look for Abraham Lincoln. Now, his face is also Mount Rushmore. And his face is on the $5 bill. I so he is also on the money. I see it. So these two presidents, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, these presidents are probably the most famous ones. Okay? Quiet. Did you forget? Second group to Miss Shapers. Okay. Now, here's another fun fact about President Abraham Lincoln. He is the tallest president that we have ever had. And he was also the very first president to be killed while president. That's called assassinated. So he was our very first president to be assassinated. Okay? Caden. So if he was killed there, then wouldn't he be still living there? Why, no. If you're killed somewhere, is that where you live? Because no. you're dead. So, so no. but you can still so hunt them. We're not going to be talking about that. Okay, facts. Addie. Okay, we're going to talk about how many presidents there are, and we'll find out in just a minute, okay? okay. All right, now, let's move on. We're going to talk a little bit more about the White House and President's Day, and then we'll do some more fun facts about our president. The White House is where the home and workplace of the President of the United States is. However, we know that George Washington did not live in the White House. He was the only president that did not live there. It has its six stories high. So think of our school. Our, store, our school is one story, two stories. It would be like three of our schools on top of each other. That is how tall the White House is. It has 132 rooms and 35 bathrooms. Think of your house. You have one or two bathrooms, probably 83. But the White House, where the president lives, has 35 bathrooms. It has five chefs that cook for the president. It has a pool. It has a bowling alley and a movie theater. Every president except for George Washington lived here. And guess what? In 1814, the British troops burned down the White House, and then they had to rebuild it in 1817. Wait, okay. I thought that Ellie. Um, in my dad, he made that. He made the White House. Very cool. He did. Quiet. Working on it. When, when I was burnt down in 1814, that was the Battle of the New Orleans. All right, Addie. They say it took a lot of tanks. I would think so, yes. Definitely. Did I say tanks? Oh, Hayden. Oh. I watched, is it? Because I watched a movie of the White House pretty much getting blown up. Burned down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, let's talk about what the president does. He is in charge of all the forces of law. He's in commander chief of, like, the Army, the Navy, like, all those branches. He's in charge of them. He writes and signs laws, and he makes sure he has judges that work in the courts. 
And then he also works with other countries, and he makes sure that our country has enough money. Now, how do you become a president? You have to be born in the United States, and each one of you was born in the United States, so all of you could be president. Now, if you're born in Canada or Mexico, you cannot, you cannot be president of the United States. You must be at least 35 years old. So can you guys be president? No. no. Can you? No. I'm yeah. 35 yes. years old. Exactly. And here's another one. You have to live in the United States for at least 14 years. I so let's heard. say Ingrid was born in the United States. And how old are you, Ingrid? Eight. Eight. And let's say your mom and dad move to Germany, which is another country. And you go to school there, and then you go to high school and college there, and then you come back to the United States when you're 36 years old, and you say, I want to be president. You can't. What are they going to say? No. No, because you haven't lived here for 14 years. You've only lived here for eight. 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 Yep. When you live here for so you have to live here for 14 years. Uh, and then you must run for election, and then you must get elected. And we just learned all about the election because we had an election this year, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Now, who can vote for the president? We've already talked about this, but remember, you have to be a U.S. citizen. You have to be at least 18 years old, and you have to register to vote. Yeah. Okay, now, we learned two facts about a couple presidents. We're going to learn a few facts, I think about five every day, because we can't do them all, because that'd be way too many. So, we've already done George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. We're going on to the second president. His name was John Adams. And here's some fun facts about John Adams. He was president number two. And he was the first vice president to later become president. So, he was vice president for George Washington. And then he became president. Again. Now, he's the only president, I should say, he was the first president who his son became president. So his name is John Adams. His son, we will learn, will be president also. His son's name is John Quincy Adams. See how there's a Quincy in there? John Quincy Adams. So this will be the dad. And later on, we'll learn that he will have a son named John Quincy Adams that becomes the president. Now, he's the very first president president to live where? Where's the, he's oh, the very, no. everybody? White yeah. House! He's the very first president to live in the White House. Well, amazing. John Adams, okay? Now, we're gonna go on to the third president, George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson. Now, Thomas Jefferson was the first president to be inaugurated at in Washington, D.C. So, do you guys remember when um, Biden was just inaugurated in Washington, D.C.? He's the very first one. Are you okay, Ellie? Yeah. Okay. Just your chair. Are you okay, hon? Okay. He was the very first president to be inaugurated there. He also... Six different languages. So you know how we speak English? And nothing else. Can nothing else? I can speak, I can speak, English, speak, I speak I can six different languages. I can speak five. That's my, I can that's speak five. five. And I don't know his languages. But I would guess maybe Chinese would be one. And probably Spanish. 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 Yeah. English, English for sure. Japan. Okay, George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison is number four. Now this president is the smallest president. He is 5'4". So Mrs. Murphy, well, I kind of have tall shoes on, but I'm 5'8 or 9, so he's probably up to here on me. And he only weighed... 100 pounds. What? Oh, I weigh 100 pounds. Some of you are close to 100. I weigh 100 pounds. I He was a very small, tiny president. And when he was president, there was the War of 1812. And um, he was one of the
of the presidents that sign the Constitution. And he also had a vice president. You know how presidents have vice presidents? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And both of his vice presidents died when he was in, when he was president. Because back then, people would die a lot mm -hmm. and young because they would get sick. You know how we have COVID and Corona? Yeah. Uh -huh. We have like masks and stuff to prevent it and now we have vaccines. Well, back then when people got sick, they didn't have that stuff. So both of his vice presidents died when he was president. So he had to get, when his, the first one died, he had to get a new one. And when that one died, he had to get another new one. Great. Isn't, um, you want me to put up? James Madison. Isn't he on the dime? Uh, I don't think he's on the dime. We'll look that up in just a little bit, okay? But I don't think he's on the dime. All right, now we're gonna do one more and we're gonna stop for today. The number five is after James Madison is James Monroe. And James Monroe was, let's see, he was had his inauguration outside. He was the first president whose daughter got married at the White House. Isn't that cool? So just think of your dad was president and you were getting married and you could have your wedding at the White House. So he, his daughter was married at the White House and he died on the 4th of July. And guess what? John Adams also died on the 4th of July. The same year. And also Thomas Jefferson will learn died on the 4th of July. And the 4th of July is like our country's birthday. And so that's kind of significant because he died on our country's birthday. Wait, did they die? The 4th of July. So wouldn't they be Uncle Sam? Wouldn't they be Uncle Sam? No. What do you mean? Isn't that, the, isn't that a governor? Uncle Sam governor. is kind of like a... No, that's a boss. Yeah. I know that, but... Uncle Sam is kind of like a... Um, I, what's the word? I don't want to say mascot, but a figure for our country. And his name is Uncle Sam. And we'll talk a little bit more about him later. But let's get through our presidents first. Now, hope you learned some fun facts. Tonight when you go home, maybe you can share with your mom and dad some fun facts about the first five presidents. We did talk about Abraham Lincoln because we will talk more about him tomorrow and Friday too. Um, I'm going to show you guys while I'm reading today. I did make a President's Day packet for fun. And in here, there's a President's Day poem and there's a word search. So while I'm reading today, if you want to work on the word search, you can. And then also at the back, there's an acrostic poem where you think about different things that start with each letter. So for President's Day, I have President, and so for P, I could put people. Perfect. People. People. Because people. 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 the people Perfect. vote for us. Perfect. Perfect. Or President. For R, I could go, I could do. President. Perfect President. Ring. Well, I don't know if a ring has to do with it, but think of things that go with President's Day. And if you can't think of things right now, today, we can finish that later. But I don't want you worried about this now. I want you doing more of this word search if you want. And then you can also color, okay?